quarantine. That thing where you lie around in one spot like you normally do, but now it's mandatory. At least you get to stay home, I had to come into the studio to record this f episode. Welcome to Stock Footage Syndrome. Supposedly we keep coming closer and closer to a cure for this thing, but it seems like something gets compromised more and more often like some goddamn monkeys stealing samples from patients, I mean, what kind of fucked up shit is that? At least I'm making something out of this quarantine. I've been selling bottles of sanitizers to suckers who want to stay sanitized on the go. Dumb bastards, I could sell them my cologne can add a layer of protection to your skin and they'll buy it by the gal. You also notice that people are buying so much toilet paper now, who knew that a pandemic would cause people to be shitting more often. I've invested in one of those things that shoot water up your ass. It's okay, better than standing around a bunch of idiots for two hours. So many ambulances going around too. Even with all of them going all, the sure love taking their time. I could have a choke on a Popeye's biscuit and recover before they even step foot at my door. Whatever, it's just a $2,000 Uber ride at this point. I also don't care much for all of these damn video chat meetings now. That hot secretary from work doesn't have her makeup on and uses a potato for a camera. Most of the time you just sit there staying silent wondering if your microphone or your camera is on. Oh and for those who are about to celebrate your birthday during the quarantine, don't be one of those assholes who post a picture of you blowing out a birthday cake with a mask on. I mean, who the fuck is that for, are you just begging for sympathy? Shit, be glad that the virus hasn't killed you yet. I'm sure porn sites are offering free trials at this point, so just go in your room and shut the door and just celebrate on your own. Unless you've been living under a rock or you're just plain stupid, you've probably heard that you should wash your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds. Now I ask, why the f haven't you been doing this shit in the first place? It took the whole world to be at risk for you to keep your hands clean and for you to sanitize everything and they suggest you keep singing the birthday song to yourself twice. You should know what cleanliness is, just do what you're supposed to do. I've also been making custom masks, people like them like their customized Jordans. They only cost 10 bucks to make and I sell them for 20. It's almost enough to make me quit this job. Lots of people see the situation as constantly being stuck at home and not being able to do anything, and I'm just like, come on. I've also been making custom masks, people like them like their customized Jordans. They only cost 10 bucks to make and I sell them for 20. It's almost enough to make me quit this job. Lots of people see the situation as constantly being stuck at home and not being able to do anything, and I'm just like, come on. There are so many things that you can do now especially with the internet, you can bullshit your way through a bunch of surveys or you can snap a picture of your vagina or your dick to sad horny people on your OnlyFans account. You gotta come out of this quarantine with some kind of new skill or hustle. Well, I better get back home, this is what I'm seeing from outside of the studio. We're right next to a facility that tests people who are infected, so I always have to be extra cautious when I come in here. The studio refuses to get tests for us and they refuse to let us record from home because of our shitty equipment. I should just stay being a drug deal in Los Angeles. We had all kinds of shit that fixes any kind of disease and got good pay, but I got mixed with the wrong people had to relocate here and change my name. Y'all don't need to hear this, we'll see you next week. Good night and wash your f hands. <laughs>